What is CRAM and what samples of such weapons do our Western partners have? CRAM is an acronym for counter rocket, artillery, and mortar, meaning that these are systems that can defend against rocket and artillery fire by destroying shells, mines, and missiles on approach to positions. The most famous of such systems is the Israeli Iron Dome, which consists of missile, artillery, and energy weapons that can counter any threats. But more often, when they talk about CRAM, they mean first of all automatic rapid-fire anti-aircraft artillery systems integrated with radar, optical electronic, and acoustic sensors. Most of such systems are built on the basis of ship artillery installations of 20 to 30 millimeters caliber. If we talk about the USA, to which the request of the chairman of the Verkhov Narada was sent, then the Centurion CRAM system is in service with this country. This is the land-based version of the ship's Phalanx CIWS system. That is, Raytheon, which now manufactures the Centurion CRAM, simply took the Phalanx CIWS, closing weapon system, turret and moved it to a ground platform, trailer, and added a generator. The Centurion CRAM is based on the well-known M61 Vulcan 20mm rapid-fire six-barreled aircraft gun with a rotating barrel assembly, which has been used by the U.S. Air Force for 60 years. This gun is characterized by a simply insane rate of fire, releasing up to 4,500 shells per minute. The speed of the projectile is 1,100 meters per second. The effective distance of fire is almost 1,500 m. The maximum is 5,500 m. The guidance system is based on a centimeter radar integrated into the turret and an infrared camera. Another variant of CRAM is the German Mantis air defense system. Unfortunately, this short-range anti-aircraft artillery complex is not mobile and consists of six 35mm guns located in ground towers, two sensor devices, and a control system. Mantis is primarily designed to protect Air Force bases and unfortunately uses the same Swiss Erlikon GDF guns with 35 by 228 mm ammunition that Ukraine will not get it even for its jeopards. By the way, the new AHID, Advanced Hit Efficiency and Destruction, projectile with programmable detonation, designed just for hitting air targets, is used here. Again, unfortunately, there are only two copies of Mantis and Rain Metal Air Defense doesn't seem to be building new systems just yet. In addition, the CRAM includes the Dutch goalkeeper CIWS based on the GAU-8-A Avenger 30mm 7-barreled anti-aircraft gun, the same one used on the Fairchild Republic A-10 Thunderbolt 2 attack aircraft. Unfortunately, goalkeeper CIWS is a ship-only system with no land-based version. Another option is the Porcupine CRAM from Italy's OTO Malara, which also uses the M61 Vulcan 20mm anti-aircraft gun. But this is again a stationary system of four ground combat modules, a 3D radar, and a control module. Each Porcupine CRAM combat module covers an area of only 400 by 400 m which is not enough for our conditions. In addition, this system never got out of the prototype stage. Formerly, the 76mm self-propelled anti-aircraft gun Draco from the same Italian OTO Malara belongs to CRAM. The larger caliber allows you to hit targets at a distance of up to 8 kilometers. But again, unfortunately, Draco also remained only a prototype. That is, with all the wealth of choice, there is no alternative to the American Centurion CRAM. But here's the trouble. To cover at least key energy facilities, Ukraine needs more CRAM than the armies of the whole world have. Not counting, of course, the Iron Dome, but in the last case, Israel lacks understanding of what is happening in the world and political will. Well, we hope that the USA will send at least a few Centurion CRAMS to Ukraine. I wouldn't count on more than a couple, but I'll be glad to be wrong.